We're back in Investor Channel's headquarters in San Diego, California. I'm your host, Daniel Wong. On today's program, we are welcoming back our longtime guest, Rick Schumacher. Rick had a very important announcement actually put out on behalf, or actually in collaboration, Ohio State put out a press release on a very exciting new technology that they're going to be developing together. But before we get into that, we'd like to thank our guest, Rick Schumacher. Rick, thanks so much for taking the time. Daniel, thanks for having me. Really do appreciate it. Rick, it's always great to have you on. What we wanted to do is we had to catch up with you because of the press release that came out, and we wanted our viewers and people to understand the magnitude of what this means for pressure biosciences. So you were actually, um, Ohio State was actually awarded 891000 grant from the USDA um, with a major goal of developing an innovative manufacturing technology to preserve liquid foods. In particular, though, we're talking about products like milk that use you know wholesome, recognizable ingredients, not all artificial preservatives, you know, clean foods, where you're actually going to be using this high-pressure shear technology. You you already have a patent on that, uh, a couple of patents on that you, you've already um, had there. So tell us about this very exciting announcement and what this means for the company. Well, we're talking about milk. Now, one of the biggest problems with milk is spoilage. I stopped at the store this morning. I picked up a quart of milk. This quart of milk has a nine-day dating, which means I need to have it drunk within nine days uh, or less. How many times do you have milk that either it's over the dating period, period, it sours and you have to throw it away, or unfortunately, even before the dating period comes up, the expiration date, you have to throw it away, and it's soured before the dating period. So a huge problem with milk is the fact that it is collected. It has to remain stored throughout the entire chain of custody, from the farm, through the shipping and the trucks, through the uh, through the storage containers, and into the stores, and then once you pick it up at home. So that's a, it's a problem because it affects the dating period. You may not even get the, the nine or ten days that you get on milk because it's stored at room temperature and therefore it sours earlier. We believe ultra shear technology can solve that problem. We believe that ultra shear technology will kill all the pathogens that are in milk or any other liquid beverage. And, and by doing so, you'll be able to store the material at room temperature for extended periods of time, very stable, and then just take it down and cool it and then drink it at that time. So we believe that ultra shear technology holds the potential for enabling the food industry to develop a liquid beverages, milk and other juices and many other beverages that could be stored at room temperature for very extended periods of time. So, Rick, this is not only just uh, basically uh, milk products, but a lot of other products as well. Where else can this be expanded to? It, it can be expanded in any liquid beverage, any condiment. So whether you're talking about juices or mayonnaise, uh, it doesn't really matter. What we do is Ultra Shear has a potential to kill all uh, bacteria, all spores that are in the food, and therefore make the food safe. What that also means is you can make the food clean label. You will not need uh, preservatives. You will not have chemicals added to this food. So imagine the situation where you can take liquid beverages and you can store them for extended periods of time at room temperature without any chemicals, without any preservatives. So you're doing two things. You're getting extended period of time storage and you're saving money and the world is saving money, not having to keep this food refrigerated. And you're also consuming clean label food without any preservatives. So it's pretty much any liquid, any liquid food you can think of should be able to be treated with ultra sheer technology, which is what we started working on just this past week. Very excited. This is one of the best technologies in my 40 years and four companies that I've started. I'm so excited about this. This is one of the best technologies I've ever had, uh, ever had the blessing to, to be involved with. Rick, now let's talk about this. This is huge. You're solving a major problem. We're talking all the waste from spoilage. You're talking about having not to refrigerate these particular foods when they're being transported and the fact that you're going to make sure these are safe for people to consume and, and just really overall really changing the whole industry of how they, the shipping business goes and how they produce these foods. So, And Rick, you're working actually with Ohio State, who is a, a very well-known uh, establishment there in the food and beverage industry. Maybe tell us a little bit quickly just about that before we get into some other uh, topics here. Well, you know, we call them rock stars in the area of, uh, of food and food science. We're working with the College of Food, Agriculture, uh, and Environmental Science at Ohio State. Well, re well, re well regarded, well known throughout the world. Some of the top food people in the world are at the uh, college at Ohio State. So we're so excited to be working with them. They, they were awarded the, the $891,000 grant to start this program. We were awarded a subcontract for $318,000. Our job is to build the first prototype instruments that we believe will allow us to make room stable, uh, room temperature stable, uh, liquid beverages uh, uh, in the future. So very excited about that. And, and how excited can it get when you're working with one of the top
colleges in the world in the area of food science. Rick, so important, I think, for everyone out there. I mean, we hear about um, killing all these these other, you know, uh, foodborne illnesses here or things that can come of that, of that nature. There should be really taking care of that, making food safer for everybody. Now, Rick, let's jump in real quick, though. You are a publicly traded company underneath the ticker symbol PBIO. You've had nine consecutive quarters of growth. You've had seven million dollars in revenue coming through there. Now, for, for investors and viewers and people out there looking at the company, they get the, the fact that you have that solid core business going on, but now they have the opportunity to also be involved in the UltraShare technology, a technology that no one's really developed here yet. And uh, how exciting is that for you to be able to tackle that? So tell us a little bit more about that a little bit and anything else you'd like to add there too. It's very exciting for us, uh, very exciting for our investors. It's sort of like having your cake and eat it too. We have a growing core business uh, in the in the biotech area. We we serve a number of well-known uh, international multi-million and multi-billion dollar companies are using our technology. And we've grown from no sales to over 2.2 million sales last year. And uh, and we've had nine consecutive quarters of growth. We think that's going to continue. But now we're, we're branching off and bringing our technology into a whole different area, bringing it in, into the consumer area, into the food area. So exciting that we not only have a continued play in the area of biotechnology and, and helping uh, these companies, you know, get to drugs and getting to cures faster, but now we're going into the consumer industry where we believe that we can help make food safer and longer shelf life, uh, which will save money for the consumer and for the industry. Well, Rick, I think that's fantastic what you've done. Really appreciate you taking the time. I think that's about all the time we have for today, but we'd like to thank our, our guests for coming on the show again. He had to give us that update. Very exciting stuff, Rick. Uh, Rick Schumacher, he's the CEO of Pressure Biosciences. Rick, thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, folks, again, that's Richard Schumacher, the CEO of Pressure Biosciences. For more information, go to PB or PressureBiosciences.com. Uh, we're going to have Rick back on again soon sometime here. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you follow and check this out because we're going to want to catch up with him about the ultra Shared technology. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned for the next interviews here on InvestorTownHall.com 